What's up YouTube, Geo here. Um, over here in the stretch, I'm doing a diagnostic on this Imperial uh, double oven. Here go the model and serial number. You can see it's um, model ICV-2 and serial there. Customer complaint was that the top oven is not, not ignited broken does not he do not use the top oven um they say the bottom oven works works fine so i came and i pulled the cover off um pulled up the panel off it's just two screws you open the door uh -oh, look at me making a rocket you open the door pull these two screws out and these just pop right off um took the panel off I turn the um, the bottom oven on, and I can hear it. It's clicking. The igniter is clicking, but nothing happening. It's not lighting at all. Good. Probably see the igniter flash there. All right. So they say the lower oven was working fine, no problem. I say, all right. Let me turn on the lower oven so I can you know, make sure and, you know, see how this thing is operating. And a uh, lower oven does not work, as, as they say. Um, and the upper oven, um, you see, I, tur I turn it on. Let me turn the bottom one off. I turn it on and you have no igniter going, no nothing. I'm trying to see if I, and I have no smell of gas. No smell of gas going on. So the way this unit works, uh, pretty simple. You can take a look at it. You see you have the burner here. That's where the gas comes in. You have the pilot. You have the igniter. That's the wire for the igniter right here. And then it comes over here to the side. And you could see the wire for the igniter is tied into the intermittent spark ignition control box. It's tied into that. And on the gas line, you could see they have two valve assembly. One here in the front and one in the back. Now this is the pilot, the, um, the tubing. It comes all the way through, and I can see where it attached right there. So that will tell me that that valve right there is the pilot valve, right? See, follow the tube. And this valve right here is the actual main valve um, because of how they got that configured right there. All right, so looks like the reason that this is not is not throwing a spark when it turned on, like the, like the bottom unit, could be this spark module device that that is defective, that needs to be replaced. Um, as well as, I would say, both of these uh, valve coil, those both would recommend be replaced as well. Um, same thing down here on this lower oven. We got a thermostat there, which right there. These are the two switches. This is the spark module for the lower oven. And this, I do not know what this is. If any one of you guys know out there what this is, this part right here, hit me up in the comment section. Take a look, bit of look. It does have a wire that runs straight back over to, I don't know if you guys can see it in there, right there, connected there. So that could be like a thermal coupler, that looks like. <clears throat> Hit me up, let me know if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I would think that looks like a thermal coupler there. And um, yeah, same valve configuration like the 
the upper oven. So these two solenoid needs to be replaced along with the, the spark module for, for the upper unit. Um, and that will get this unit running back like new. All right, just wanted to go over this with you guys. Um, let's see here. Yeah, other than that, everything else looks good. All right, hit me up in the comment section. Hit up that, that like button. Hit that share button. Uh, tick that little notification bell. And uh, thank you guys for joining. Geo out.